Hi guys, so this is quite the low budget video. I am filming at night. I am filming in a very inconvenient place for my camera and the lighting is really bad. How's that for a good advertising? <laughs> um, and then of course the sound is not gonna be good either because I'm just gonna film with my phone. I have had a couple kind of not so great weeks. Nothing, nothing really has happened. It's just, you know, I'm still grieving from my mom and it's just that kind of deal, I guess, right now. And normally that is not something that I would share in my channel I would usually just try to pretend, but I don't seem to want to pretend right now. So all that was to tell you that this is the only kind of video I can manage right now. I am making fabric beads and I thought in order to have a video this week, this is what I can manage. And I hope you guys can understand. I'm sure next week will be better and I can do either an upcycle or a fabric panel project. But right now, this is what I want to do. And it's bringing me a little bit of peace and joy. And so this is the video you're going to have. <laughs> All right. So this is what I'm making. Again, I do apologize for how bad the lighting is, but that's the deal. I call these my confetti balls, and I make all different kinds of sizes, as you can see, all different kinds. They're very fun. And these are basically, I mean, you can just leave them like this and make jewelry out of them or I don't know what else, maybe tassels for journals, whatever. Or I kind of view them as cores, journal core, uh, excuse me, bead cores. And so I can build off of this. I can add some, I can wrap with other types of textiles. I can add all kinds of beads. I can wrap with metal. I can do all kinds of things with them. They're really fun. And so I'm going to show you how I make mine. Now, there are tons of different videos out there how to make fabric beads. I like to use my scraps like a lot of people do. And this, all of these beads literally came from my table scraps. So let's make some. All right, so I am kind of working with, this is what I call my confetti. So this is just scraps that I cut down even more to make these little things. And then in this guy, I've got some fun, strips, little tiny things. And this is just threads and other like embroidery floss. And the other thing you can use is um, scraps of uh, batting or fusible fleece. I've used all mine. Obviously I have plenty of that, but as far as scraps of it, I've used them all. So what I'm going to show you right now is first, let's do a thread ball. So you gather up your threads. Oh, the other thing you'll need is I have Fabri-Tac and I have this Scotch Create glue stitch stick which is great um, but you also are gonna sew or I do anyway I do either a combination of sewing and gluing 
or I do just sewing or I do just gluing. So either way. So for first, I roll this into a ball and then I take thread and this can be any thread. Old thread is great because you do actually use a lot of thread. And you can actually, if you have enough uh, scrapped thread in your little scrap bowl or basket, you could just use that. But then I just start to wind that around, making a little tight bundle. And I am downstairs. So you might hear my in-laws dog or my downstairs cat. Yes, I have downstairs cat and upstairs cats because they don't get along right now. So I apologize for that. And you might even hear some furnace sounds. Like I said, I just don't have it in me to worry about that stuff right now. Okay, so once, where's my snippers? Once I feel pretty good about that, then just to keep it, I just rub that. So now I have that little thing. Oh no, I think he's gonna come into the mix now. I'll show you Yuki. Yuki, oh, that's his butt. You don't want that. Yuki, come over here. Show your face. Hi. All right. Okay. So that's one kind of core. And then another kind is just little strips. So this is gonna make a bigger one. You can, you don't have to use this much, but I just smoosh them, smoosh them together. Same thing. And you just start wrapping. You know, you move it as you go so that it continues to make a ball. So I kind of, I mean, if you want kind of oblong oval shaped, you can do that too. But this is pretty easy to shape. And you can do this with, with yarn too and any kind of thread that you may have that you don't really use for sewing. Okay, that one's done. Same thing. Just get that little tail. Whoops. Oh, grief. Isn't it lovely? Hits you out of the blue sometimes. Okay. Then you could, so those are, I'm gonna add my confetti to these. I'll just show you another way to do it where you can just leave it. And you could just leave these. Again, it's completely up to you how you wanna decorate. So anyway, I just kinda continue to wrap this into little ball. And if I wanna change direction, Sometimes I turn it, I twist it, and it gets, it helps me go in, in another direction. Now this is batik, so it wouldn't matter what side of the fabric, but sometimes that doesn't matter, even if you did have a wrong side or a right side of your fabric. Okay, so I've got this little ball. I'm gonna wrap it again. Oops. 
We have a weird rattling in our furnace right now. So sorry if you hear that. That's why I do voiceovers a lot because there's just so much noise in this house. I have to build myself a... Whoops, I keep going out of frame. Sorry about that. I need to build myself a voiceover booth or whatever. Sound booth. Thank you. I said thank you to myself. <laughs> Crazy. It is also super windy out. So the wind is howling. All right. Okay, so we have three little balls. So let me then, let's see, this guy needs a little bit more gluing down. I love this stuff, it's really good. Okay, now, We've got my confetti bowl here. All kinds of things going on. Now you can either not care. Oh, this is a um, plastic uh, cutting board that comes with like your Vitamix or whatever. I have it on my sewing table. So actually, maybe I'll do it on that so you can see a little bit better. Again, it's terrible, terrible light. Oh. Um, okay, so either you can just not care if it gets on your hands or you can use a pin like this, stick it in there. And I'm gonna use this Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to put some glue kind of all around. And then just kind of roll it around. Once I know that it's pretty well covered, then I take the pin out and then I do this. Okay, so either at this point, you can leave it like this if you plan on wrapping it with something else, like some eyelash thread or yarn or metal things or add beads. Or you can wrap it again. And I think I'm going to do it with some embroidery floss, if I can find some. And I can't find any. So, I guess we're going back to this stuff. See, sorry guys, not prepared. Doing what I can right now. And then you just wrap it. For those of you who are still watching, thank you. <laughs> mm, I promise I'll have a more professional video next week. All right. So I'm not going to wrap it too much because it's, it's already pretty. So anyway, I love the different textures. If you can even see that with the shadow. There we go. Isn't that fun? So, basically the same with these uh, confetti balls. 
put it on a pin like that, cover it with a little glue. Stick it in your confetti. Okay. Roll it around, keep it shape. And wrap it a little bit. Truly, this is therapy. Just, you're getting rid of your scraps, you're using what you have, and you're creating these beautiful little balls that you can use in so many different ways because you can sew them together, string them together by sewing them together, or you can stick some jewelry findings on them and create little earrings or a bracelet. And there you go. I mean, really, the sky is the limit with the different things that you could add to this with even more texture. Okay, so I better show you a sewing one too. All right, I'm just going to use my confetti as the bait as the core here. I'm gonna wrap it just because it's the confetti. So it needs this is gonna be awkward, but I but it does actually work. Alright. So this will be one that is not glue at all. Okay. Now, I think, let me grab another little strip of something. What do I got over here? Okay. So, first, I'm just going to start wrapping okay whoa it's a jumping ball okay then I get my needle and thread and I just start sewing this may not be a strong enough needle so I may have to and then I'm gonna go to the other side and do a knot and then I can just start every which way running the thread back and forth you can take little stitches if you want and make it kind of dimply I also probably didn't put enough thread on this but you can imagine
you just keep taking stitches and going back and forth and then you can smoosh that in you know if if you're getting out of shape a little bit don't hurt yourself I think I need my yeah this was not the right needle to choose but you just keep going around and around until you have a little sewed one. And let me find one, ones I did. Recently that are for sure sewed. Here we go. This one is not wrapped at all it's just sewed and no glue this one was sewed and I just did longer stitches this one and this one I think this one too. Yep. So uh, that is my bead balls. <laughs> and I am going to continue making these until I get out of my funk. Here's one that's kind of a different shape. This one's huge. This one's a combination of glue and wrapped thread. I love these that are the confetti balls because they just pop out more. I like that texture. I mean, the smooth ones are good too, but. And this one was home decor fabric. Doesn't matter. Oh, it has more heft. Doesn't matter what you make it with, but this represents just an afternoon of picking up all kinds of scraps. So, hope that inspires you. Again, uh, this is the best I could do for video quality, but I'll be back very soon with a better one. I have the very next video probably will be an upcycle project and I'm also currently working on the panel project too so you'll have those in succession. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.